Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I'm extremely humbled to have been asked to launch the inaugural Forget Me Not Day to raise awareness of adult surviving child abuse. Because child abuse is an issue which horrifies most people. It's so horrible and confronting that we don't want to think about it. For most of us, we certainly don't want to talk about it. We don't want to believe it's happening. We want to hide from it because the reality is it's impossible to comprehend. But if that's how society feels, imagine what it must feel like for those people who are victims of abuse. How must they feel? I became involved in this area when I helped to set up Parliamentarians Against Child Abuse and Neglect uh, down in Canberra. Our group campaigns in cooperation with organisations like NAPCAN and ERASI to support children in need, put in place prevention strategies to try and reduce incidents of neglect and abuse. Through those efforts I met Cathy and I still remember our first meeting quite clearly. And Cathy came to me and said she'd like our group to be involved in terms of the work she's doing. And I have to say, there's only so many issues you can on it. I said to her at the time, I think we were more focused on prevention. And boy, did Cathy give it to me over that. <laughs> she rightly pointed out the two issues were inextricably tied together. And she's so right. As a society, we sometimes forget that abused children grow up. They don't leave that abuse in their childhood. Many go through life with a misplaced sense of shame, they suffer in silence, they have low self-esteem, low self-worth, and it doesn't just affect them, it affects all the people around them, it affects their family, it affects their children, it affects their friends. And the statistics that Cathy was talking about are staggering. Most people have no idea that the problem is this large. I mean, listen to this, more than 70% of people with severe mental illness have been abused. More than 80% of women in Australian prisons are victims of incest or other types of abuse. And last year alone there were more than 55,000 substantiated cases of child abuse and neglect. Even more devastating, the true figures are much higher. Community and government acknowledgement and support for survivors is critical to the healing process. And that's the reason I'm here today. This issue might be confronting, it is disturbing, but it is too important to sweep under the carpet. Ignoring it doesn't stop it from happening. It gives powers to the abusers. Ignoring it means victims continue to suffer in silence without the vital support they need. ASCA is doing some outstanding work, so ably led by Cathy, the workshops they have in place of supporting hundreds of people trying to move their life forward. The inaugural Forget Me Night Day is about starting the national conversation and putting this issue firmly on the national agenda. As Cathy said, the good news, and there is some good news here, is that with the right help and support, survivors can feel a sense of health and well-being and re-engage with the community. Thereby, they untangle their lives. All of us, all of us, government, community, all of us must be part of the solution. We need to help remove the stigma from victims. We need to offer them support. And we need to realise that as horrific and incomprehensible as child abuse is, it is happening and people are suffering. If we don't acknowledge it, if we don't bring it into the open, we can't stop it. I would hope one day there'd be no need for a group like ASCA, that we don't have adult child, adult survivors because we can stop the horrors of child abuse from happening in the first place. But while we continue to work to prevent abuse, we must also continue to help the victims, both as children and as adults. I urge you all to support ASCA's efforts on Forget Me Not Day and beyond. And again, 
I am very, very honoured and humbled to be here to support this campaign and thank you all for attending.